Good evening, listeners. This is Alfred W. Rain with Exploration Now, bringing you another intriguing update from the mysterious steps of Isla de Verano. With no word from the first team that ventured into the Trauman and Bats, the government has now sent a second expedition to the island. This time, they are not going alone. They are accompanied by FBI agents. Yes, you heard that right. The FBI. The involvement of federal agents in what was supposed to be a scientific exploration raises far more questions than answers. Whispers are growing louder, pointing to government involvement and possible cover-ups. I can't help but ask, what is it that the FBI wants to keep hidden? Did Dr. Eleanor Rhodes and her team stumble upon something they were not supposed to find? An ancient civilization, perhaps? Artifacts so significant they could change everything we know about the history of this planet? Or could it be something more sinister, something the authorities do not want us to know? You see, the rumors have been swirling and they are becoming harder to ignore. Some say that the carvings reported by Dr. Rhodes during her last transmission, those intricate reptilian symbols, were not just decorations, but warnings. Warnings of something seen the way deep beneath the earth, for a reason. Did they accidentally awaken something best left undisturbed? A guardian of those ancient secrets, perhaps? And let's not forget what happened before the first team lost contact. They described obscure stone formations that clearly did not belong there. Formations that looked almost ritualistic. And then of course we had those last chilling moments. The strange chanting that came through the radio. An eerie, otherworldly voice that seemed to echo from the depths of the earth itself. Many of you reached out to tell us how unsettling it was to hear. But what if that chanting was more than just noise? What if it was a message, a warning? Something from those who dwell beneath? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.